Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, fifth house of the Navamsha chart. So Navamsha chart is very important for marriage, first of all, okay? But this is so mysterious chart that um, it it becomes really hard to understand, okay? So what will happen in life? We all don't know. So before we get started, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want to take my personal reading. So please check the link below. Fifth house is important of Navamsha chart. Firstly, firstly it shows what punya you are bringing for the marriage. Do you, will you have marriage or not? And it really doesn't mean if you have malefix here, you won't get married. But Saturn here delays marriage. Okay, so Saturn here is generally... Uh, the um, planet that delays marriage okay so this is the thing other planets they are they don't generally delay marriage but uh here we actually see the intelligence that we will use in marriage because fifth house is of the intelligence okay uh, about your mental well-being about how the decisions you are going to take in the marriage for example if your fifth house of navamsha is weak and if you and your spouse Fight, your spouse would may leave you instantly or think like they want to get divorced in little little matters okay they don't always fighting and uh, not able to understand any situation not able to understand you um, so you um, fifth house shows what intelligence you will use in the marriage okay so um, if you have Jupiter here basically so no matter what you will always stick to marriage and always try to protect the marriage to save the marriage okay if you have mars here then uh, you are going to react instantly but it gives a very passionate romance and a desire to make the marriage work okay not just running away from marriage so this is the thing that it shows right so these are some things that it basically shows here. So fifth house also shows about the romance that you will have in the marriage, okay? If Venus is anywhere connected to the fifth house, it shows very romantic marriage, very romantic love life, okay? And it is very, very good uh, if Venus is anywhere connected. If Saturn is connected, it gives dry romance, okay? Because Saturn is a planet that doesn't believe in romance and all, so it gives dry romance, okay? Now, if saturn is a uh, sorry if mars is connected it gives a passionate romance if mercury is connected it also gives um childlike romance like a very youthful romance even when you and your spouse would get older you both will have that kind of romance okay so this is what it shows right now if moon is here it also gives emotional romance emotional connection between you and your spouse but if moon is not getting support of any other planet your spouse you can have tendency in even small more fights you will think like I should leave or don't talk to me or stop talking to a spouse mood swings so all these things can happen when moon is connected because moon is a very uh, sensitive planet so that's why okay fifth house becomes important ninth house is the bhagya where your bhagya will actually take you so no matter whichever planet is placed here no matter how the situation is how are you going to deal with the matters of your marriage so basically if you are married for and navamsha is a marriage chart so not a relationship but about marriage so if you are married then you have to no matter whichever sign is placed here whichever uh see uh, you have to be uh, when you are married then we cannot leave okay we have to stick together no matter what if there is genuine love true love then uh, and if you think your spouse is actually nice and loves you so you will have to stick to the marriage okay you cannot just leave uh, because you may later on regret so that is what the fifth house shows for example if you are married but you got somebody else and you went with somebody else without thinking and then you realize that that person was only misusing you and then you will remember your spouse that my spouse was so nice always loved me and I broke my relationship broke my marriage because somebody else came in my life and was just romantic and I was just drawn towards that person. So later on, we can regret about it, okay? So that is what 
uh, this house shows basically Mars can also show uh, taking decisions without thinking um, so stable planet should be placed here that is what Saturn is you will try to stick to the marriage no matter what and uh, not trust anyone very easily moon can trust people easily and uh, in little things they will uh, try to leave or not trust spouse. Fifth house shows your intelligence. How much intelligence? Fifth house of Devon. Fifth house of Devon shows your intelligence, overall intelligence, uh, the ability to take right wrong decisions. Intelligence means the ability to take right wrong decisions, stability of mind, wisdom of mind. And D9 chart shows, D9 chart shows your wisdom to take decisions in the marriage okay so fifth house becomes very very strong if rahu or ketu are placed here the person can take decisions in the marriage without thinking which can later on create problem because rahu is a planet that creates illusion so um, being in illusion they may take a wrong decisions that can uh, later on hurt them okay so these are some things that it shows fifth house of the navamsha chart okay because fifth house uh, when we uh, don't have the intelligence to deal with the matters of marriage so our intelligence in the marriage is very much based upon fifth house okay 